All these high-minded mm. individuals who are wonderful prophets, mm -hmm. whom through them alone you can see Christ. Through them alone you cannot go to God. Without mm -hmm. them you can go to God. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are so they are high and mighty. Mm -hmm. That that is the challenge we're dealing with here, mm -hmm. and uh, in the process, where when you look at the life of these people or life of some of these Christians, why you see we have a lot of weak Christians. Mm -hmm. They don't know the difference between the flesh and the and spirit. spirit. When it's time to wait upon the Lord, mm -hmm. it is the time they believe that God has abandoned them yeah. because of what they have been taught. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, long suffering is actually part of the Christian life. The Christian life, the Christian virtue. virtue. Yeah. But now, if somebody is waiting on the Lord, the Lord is not coming fast enough yeah. to them. That is God they has take, abandoned you. It's Satan. They take shortcuts. Yeah, they take shortcuts. God is not the, <laughs> the flesh take control. Yeah. Yeah. And you go out there, you compromise your faith. Mm. You can't you give a fat in church, fat offering in church. Mm. The pastor is not going to say, How did you get this? Get money? that contract. How did mm. you get that money and all that? Mm. It's all about how much God has blessed it. This mm. is what has given me a car. God wants me to this. Mm. And again, it brings us to one thing. If you look at the prayer, Prayer requests we get, prayer point people get. If you check it out, it's centered to what materialism. Materialism. God, yeah. I want this. God, I want that. Mm. I want this. I want that. I want. Mm. It's not about what are we giving back to Him. Yeah. It shows many of us are there is this element of immaturity. We are not mature Christians. There is this element of carnality try to suppress spirituality that should be in us. So there should be a balance we should wake up and then ask ourselves, are we really pleasing God or we're pleasing self? self aggrandizement self-elevation. We come, we gather it anyhow, we come and share testimony right. in the church mm -hmm. and the pastor will praise you and the rest of the, they don't ask you how did you go about this. Paris, yeah. Yeah. We need to go back to the Christian Basics. I think the Christian basic for me it's about uh, knowing what God has promised His people. Number one, the Bible says He cannot lie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? But yet we we know the scriptures, mm. but we walk contrary, contrary, contrary mm. not in accordance with the Word of God. You know, yeah. you know. And if you look at when He was talking about the, the things that are of Christian mind, if you look at the Philippians chapter four verse eight, mm. where He was talking about say, finally, brethren, whatsoever, whatsoever that things is good. that are true. Or so about things that are honest, mm. which we don't find today. Mm. It's so easy for people to lie and they don't see anything wrong with it. It's in the Philippians 4 verse 8. Yeah, let me read it. So, finally, brethren, whatsoever things that are true, whatsoever things that are honest, whatsoever things that are just, whatsoever things that are pure, whatsoever things that are lovely, whatsoever things that are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any place, think on these things. Yeah. So how do you, I mean, <laughs> what is where we just read now? Mm. We were talking about virtue earlier. Virtue. He said, but this is what constitutes of a virtue Christian. <sighs> whatever true, whatever soever is pure, pure. whatever is lovely, honest, whatever is lovely, lovely. And it's good and report, good report. Mm. These are the characteristics of what makes. What? A good Christian. A good Christian. A spiritual Christian. And these are what we don't emphasize in the today. church these days. No, 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 no. We no longer emphasize all these Christian virtues. But like I always ask, if God, like He said, we 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 are so concerned with our mm. family, mm. how we provide for them, we should not go on. Like Jesus said, if we are that caring, we that is as wicked as the devil, mm. how much more our Father which is in heaven? I think for me, in conclusion of this message today, we be. Going back to spirituality requires mm. just the very basic things mm. that we read in Romans 8 and that Galatians, mm. where it differentiated things between carnality and spirituality. spirituality. Mm. You, you understand? And it, 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 it separated them. Things of the flesh, mm. gossip, lying, stealing, mm. adultery, fornication, or blah. It just kept. The things of the spirit, meekness, mm. honesty, mm. Uh, 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 Diligency, all these things. Yeah. Again, there's nothing confusion there. No. But oftentimes we we want the easy way out. Mm. It's not that the spiritual ways are actually as difficult as the, mm. as, the, as, the, as, the as the as the material way, mm. whichever way. Mm. But you find that 
Bottom line is that they all have consequences. Mm. Okay? Yeah. The Bible said to be carnally minded is death. Mm. You may die spiritually now, but there's still an eternal death that is awaiting you. Yeah. Am I correct? Mm. Correct. So in other words, you are not just dying spiritually now, but that's going to lead to your eternal condemnation, mm. which is just as dangerous as it can be. Yeah. Then this, it takes us back to Romans chapter 12. Okay. From verse 1, it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, sacrifice holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not confirmed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mind renewal. If we want to walk in the Spirit, we should allow our mind to be renewed daily by the Word. With the Word. With the Word. When we go back to the Word of God, the Word of God, we renew our mind so that we begin to think about the Christian virtues, Christian profitabilities, and not on the negative side that lead to carnality. That is the balance. Which, in conclusion, uh, 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 the, the, the things that bother me sometimes is how do we even get ourselves into so caught up with the same race? Like the way the world run the race. Because a carnal mind or a natural mind, mm. he's on a race mm. to win the world mm. for him, the whole world. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And Jesus threw a gospel to them and said, What shall it profit such people? To gain the Even they go to the whole world and still lose their lose it, so. And sometimes we find ourselves as Christians, mm. we're running the same race with them, mm. wanting to go in the whole world, mm. thinking that when we tell the world, Oh, this is God's blessing. Mm. This is God blessing me. It's going to bring the whole world to the Lord. It no, does, it's not, it doesn't really work that way. It doesn't. It doesn't work that mm. way. It doesn't. So, for me, I think uh, we want to encourage us as Christians out there mm. that as much as we think that things are not falling to the right place, that does not mean God has abandoned you. Yes. Okay? Because you pray God did not answer, it doesn't look like God is answering you. Mm. Or you've been asking God for certain things in life, it's not happening. That does not mean that God has abandoned you. There's what the scripture, what you just read, talk about long suffering. Yeah. Long su suffering is suffering. Mm. You go and check the definition patience. of the Bible. It's patience you need. Mm. And sometimes God does not give us the things we ask for. You know why? Yeah. Because He knows if He gives it to us, He will destroy us. Yeah. He deliberately makes sure we don't have it. Mm. Because He knows when He doesn't of often give us all that we ask. He gives us what we need, what not mean? what yes, we, yes. we want. Because like, yeah, some of these things that we have to want is insatiable. We continue to want. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, if you look at it also, the way we ask, certain things that we ask for, mm. God knows if, if He gives it to us, it will destroy us. Yeah. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Look, for instance, the, the children of Israel in the Old Testament, the Bible said they crave meat. Yeah. They constantly were bordering God, meat, 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 and God gave them quail, you understand? Mm -hmm. And they ate and it came out of their nose on their ear, and that, that was out of anger. Yes. Have you ever seen your children, sometimes they are pestering you, yeah. the one is the one, the one, the one, you get angry, you really give it to them. Give it to them beyond what they <laughs> want. Kill them. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. And the same thing God walked with us sometimes, mm -hmm. and uh, God wants us to refrain from this. Exactly. The things of the flesh, God wants us to refrain, mm. refrain from these things, mm. gossip, babiting, talk about other people, yeah. your Christian brothers and everything, yeah. and walk in the Spirit. And walking in the Spirit, meaning, like you said, mm. constant prayer with our season, ministering the Word of God, uh, studying the Word of God, sharing fellowship and all that. The Bible says I should do this. You are not fulfilling the work of the flesh. The flesh. But when you walk contrary, yeah. the flesh yeah. is in control the yeah. of you. Yeah. So, I, 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 for me, I, what I take home today is that we need to be more mindful of the things of, of the, the Spirit. Spirit. One of the things. Let's forget about the, the facade that is happening around us today, mm. around the world, mm. as if they are winning. They are not winning. They are not. Mm. They are actually losing. If you hear their cry, if you can hear the voice in the Spirit, mm. you will see they are crying yeah. spiritually, yes. asking for help. Mm. So, all this, all this facade they are covering up with mm. is just a show. It's like a chameleon. When it goes to everything, he changes his color mm. to disguise and say, oh, that's the world is just put on disguise to show what they are not. But we know out there, some of us, that the world is nothing but emptiness. Amen. And they try to fill it up with the things 
that is not satisfactory. Mm. No matter how, they can have more houses, more cars, more wife, more girlfriend, more money and everything, and yet there's always that debt. The vacuum. Vacuum. That's kind of a feel of money. Yeah. Yeah. So in conclusion, ah, that's it. let us renew our mind daily right. by waiting upon God. He will renew our spiritual strength so that we will run like the eagles and we will fly. We will never be weary. We will never be tired. And I would say that you hang on there. No matter what is happening, hang in there because the Lord is in control. It, it, it mentioned one thing in the scripture which I love so much. I will never leave you. Nor forsake you. Okay? By you abandoning the things that does not bring glory to him does not make you a loser. The world might want to put in your face as if you are a loser. They're actually the loser. But it's preparing you for a better place, which is eternity. Mm -hmm. So until we meet next time, I want you to stay strong. Don't look up to man. Look up unto the Lord as the author and the finisher of your faith, of mm -hmm. whatever you believe in. Trust in him, because he said in his word that no man that put his trust in him that can ever be put to shame. So he will never shame you before your enemy, but rather he's going to give you victory in all that you do. So you need to hang in there, stay strong. The whatever we're going through right now, it just, the Bible says it's for a temporal measure. Amen. It's not going to last long. Amen. But what lies ahead, the reward for the righteous, the Bible said is unquantifiable. You cannot quantify about anything. Amen. So let's stay blessed, let's stay strong, and let's wait upon the coming of the Lord. Remember to share, to subscribe, and to reach out to others who have needs of what we are sharing with you. God bless you, and to see you next time. Bye-bye. Blessings. <laughs>